Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll see a new problem in binary tree. So basically we are given a binary tree and we need to find out the top view of binary tree or we need to print top view of binary tree, right? So like in this case, uh, this is my binary tree and as you can see that label means basically here, this is my, let's say if I compare the height, right? Or if I take this is my, the top root is my zero level. So uh, if I take about this height level that this is my zero level and let's say if for the left I am taking as a minus one and for here uh, I am taking it minus two. So this is how it will happen that this is zero, this is minus one. Then again I am going the right. So again this is at zero level and again I am going at right left. So this will be minus one. Again I am going left. This will be minus two. Now again here I am going one this one and again uh, from 0 to here in right I'm going so this is my one and again I will add plus one so this is again going right so this is one right so now if if someone is watching from top right so what he will see because at zero level if someone is watching from top so he can see only this two he can't see this six right so if I if I call like let's say this is one level because they are both in line so if someone is watching from top he can see only two so for this level we need to print two now if someone is watching at this level at minus one from top so if someone is watching from here he can see only seven not five so it means for this level i i need to print seven similarly for this one so because at minus two we have only one element so if someone is watching from above, he can see only this element. It means we need to print seven. So seven, so 10, seven, two. And then if someone is watching from here, he can see only five, he cannot see 11 because it is hidden because we are watching from top, right? It means we need to print five. And then if someone is watching from here, so we have only single nodes. So it means we need to print nine, right? So our answer should print this one because and we are basically printing from left to right right so now this should be our answer if someone is watching from top then first he will see this 10 then he will see this 7 then he will see this 2 then he will see this 5 and then he will see this 9 right so this is our problem statement we'll see what should be the logic to uh, to solve this then you'll see uh, the java code and how we can implement it in java code and then at last we'll see that what will be the time complexity and space complexity to solve this question right so now uh, how we can solve this question right so as you can see that basically what we are doing we are basically dividing and we are starting so we are basically having these heights right so let's say these are our random heights and for root we are saying that this is at zeroth level and whenever we are going left then we are assigning that height is uh, that level minus one and if we are going to right so we are assigning height of that level of zero plus one or that height plus one right so what we can do that as you know that in binary tree we have basically three properties one property is a node value then one property is the left pointer one property is the right pointer and we can take one more pointer is the height property right so at the starting height of all the levels are zero and now we'll iterate from the zeroth root from zeroth from the root value right so now what we'll do uh, now whenever now i am here right so i will check that whether the traversal whether the traversal of this is happened or not right and if the traversal is not happened so first of all what i will do i will basically take the help of a queue right so i will take a queue and one by one as i am traversing the element i will basically keep on putting the values in the queue so first of all in queue put the root item so let's say this is my queue right and in queue i am putting the root value so here i have i am putting my root here so now what i want to do and this is my root now i will take i will remove the first value from the queue and i will operate it until my queue is empty right so first of all i will remove the uh, remove the node from here so it means g2 now what is the height of 2 the height of 2 is 0 now i will also take the help of a tree map 
so why tree map because in tree map we can basically uh, we can basically store in the ascending order or in the order so that is why i will basically uh, i will basically put the value in the height right so basically i will check that if if we have so in map as you know that we have a key and value right we have a key and value so my key will be the height in this case so my key will be height in this case and my value will be my value will be the data right so now uh, like at the starting what is the height so height is zero so i will check that whether this zero value already present in a uh, map or not if it is not present so what you can do like in this case the zero height doesn't uh, doesn't present so it means store the zero it store the height as a key and then put the value so value is two right now you will go to left so you will check that uh, if if you if this element has left node so yes left node so first of all append the height so first of all update the height to that value minus 1 it means we will we will update the height of this one from 0 to minus 1 so this will be height of this element and then put this element into q right so here i will put this element into 7 and this element has right node as well so first of all i will update the height so height of this one will be 1 and I will update in the queue, right? Now I will again, again remove the item from the queue. So this was already done. Now I will remove this 7. Now I will check what is the height of 7. So height of 7 is minus 1. And if it is already present in maps, no, this is not present. So it means update the key as a height and put the value. So it means 7, right? And now check that whether 7 has left so 7 has no left node is means won't do anything now 7 has right node it means update the height of this 6 node so height will be minus 1 plus 1 which is 0 and then we'll put into q right and because why we need this q and map right you need to understand it clearly we need this map so that we can store the viewing because what we are doing for each height we are storing the value right and that will be my answer that will be my top view right and that's and because i have because i have taken the tree map so this is the property of tree map that this will basically store the value in order in order in the on the base of this height right so this is this is the value that we want and this will be my top view and why i need q the q is needed so that i can basically take the value so that i can take the value one by one right that is why i need the q so now after that i will i will remove the this five and now uh, if five has left node no if five has right node yes so i will update the height of this one so height of this one is one so one plus one is two so first of all i will update the height of this to two and i will put into the q now i will remove uh, and as well as because i need to update i need to check in map so whether this height matches so so there is no a height of one so i will update the height of one and i will update in the map now i will go further and i will remove six so what is the height of uh, what is the height of six so six height is zero but zero is already covered right so because zero height is already covered so we won't add this value into our tree map so that's the beauty of the top view because we can't add this six here because this is already covered so that is why six won't print and we'll always have this two as a top view at this position right but we'll check that if six has left node so yes it has six it has left node so i'll update the height of this five to minus one and i will update into I will update into map uh, sorry Q and this 6 has also a uh, right node so I will uh, again update the height of this 11 to the 1 because 0 plus 1 1 and I will put in the Q now I will remove this 9 so what is the height of 9 height is 2 it means and this is also doesn't present in map so I will put it here 2 and I will add 9 now 9 does not have any left node and right node so we won't do anything now remove 5 this 5 it means this one so now it will check uh, that this 5 has uh, what is the height of 5 height of 5 is minus 1 but minus 1 we have already covered so we won't add now if it has any left node so yes it has any left it has left node so i will update the height to minus 2 
and I will up, I will add into Q. So here I will add into Q, right? And this does not have any right node, so I won't do anything. Now I will remove 11. So what is the height of 11? 11 height is 1, which we have already covered. So we won't do anything. Now there is no left and right of this one, so we won't do anything, right? And after that, uh, what we need to do? And after that, basically, uh, and guys, basically the height now, after that, we'll remove this 10. So what is the height of 10? 10 is minus 2. It means we need to add because we haven't added earlier of minus 2 height into map. And I will update the this one, right? And after that, uh, we have we have completed because there is no element left in the queue. So after that, this will be my final solution. And I can simply print the values of this tree map, right? As you can see that because this is tree map, so this will be in order of the height from minus two to one, and these are the values. So I have 10, then seven, then two, then five, and then nine, right? So this is this is the same as exactly what we wanted. And these are the top views. This is a top view of a binary tree if someone is watching from top, right? So we, so we solve this question using a Q and a map, tree map. Now what will be the complexity? So uh, because what we are doing, we are basically iterating iterating from the root node and one by one we are covering on load so the time complexity to solve this question is big of n right and what will the space complexity so space complexity because uh, we are taking a queue and we are taking a queue of big of n so this will be big of n as well as we are also taking a map to store the mapping so this is also big of n so overall complexity, uh, if we consider the space complexity will be big of n and time complexity will also be big of n, right? So this is how we have seen what will be the logic. And now let me show you through code. So whatever we have explained, uh, I will show you in the through code. So here I have created uh, my uh, tree. So this is a basic thing that this is a root node and then root of left seven, root of right is this five and right, left, right is. And here is my function top view. So now uh, let me show you this main function. So first of all, I'm checking that if my node is null, then simply return because we won't do anything in this case. As it is the case, then I will take a tree map where uh, I will take an integer as a key, means the height is the key and the value, which is the node value is the integer. Also, I will take a queue. So queue will be of node, right? And my node structure, if you see, will be left, right, data, and the height. So through this height, will maintain the uh, height of the each node. So now uh, at the starting, I will add the root node in the queue, and I will operate this until queue is not empty. First of all, I will remove the item, and then I will check the what is the height of this uh, this value. So this is through HD. I am taking the height. Now I'm checking that if this height value, uh, if we haven't covered this uh, height in the map or not, if if it is null, means we haven't covered, then we'll simply put the height and with the value. So this will, height will be the key and value will be the node value, right? After that, we'll check that the, if, if node has any left, so update the height of, uh, if it is left node, so we'll update the height with height minus one and we'll add in the queue. Similarly, if it has any right value, so we'll update the height with the uh, HD minus one, height plus one, and we'll add in the queue, right? So one by one, what we are doing, for each iteration, we are basically first of all checking that if we have, if we have the, if, uh, if, we, if we don't have this value in the map, so add that value, and if it has any left or right, add that value into queue. Right, and we will do this. Uh, we'll do this until queue is not empty, and at the last, we'll print all the values of map. Right, it means so for each height, we'll have the single value, so it will print one by one all the values. Right, so this is how we can solve this question. And guys, I will also put all the complete source code of this in my description section, so you can copy the URL from there and you can copy the complete source code, and then you can execute at your end how it is working. Right. So that's it about this video and if you have any doubt regarding this uh, video like how we can calculate the top view then please write in the comment section and I will try to explain that. And if you think that we have we have any good approach or better approach than this one please also mention in the comment section. 
So that's it and if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.